Welcome to IT Fundamental V1.0 course in Job Skills Share. This is the first course that we recommend everyone who are trying to become an IT professional, whether you're a student or transitioning into IT, this is going to be the first course. And this video is extremely important for you to fully watch and understand how you are going to learn technical skills from JSS courses. In this course, you're going to learn basics and before basics, you have to understand why are you learning all of this technical basics. So when you start this course, make sure to not skip any videos in the first sections. This is crucial because a lot of time what people do, they like to do hands on practice and they jump to modules and then they jump to practice labs because they like to do hands on practice. But the problem is a lot of people don't understand that. How do you actually commit to these technical skills and when do you go out of it? Because you cannot get into something very technical and then get stuck in simple labs and spend a lot of time and then when you realize that you're burned out and you're not able to get a lot of things from it. So this is why it's important to watch the JSS videos first because every module is gonna tell you something. Why do you need this? If we talk about transitioning over here, you need to relate yourself where you are. Are you a student? Are you transitioning into IT? So some tips will relate to you and that's where you're going to capture more experience and a good experience from these courses. So when you go to the next section where it says understand complex IT infrastructure, let's say you missed this. Now you don't understand how a whole infrastructure works. So this diagrams on the right side may not mean a lot to you because you don't understand how this VPN or what is this printing stuff? What is a domain network? How is this all created in the first place? So by watching something like this, before you get to hands on, it just opens up a lot of these questions that can really be annoying when you're doing even a hands on course like ours can become a stressful experience for you. So this is why you cannot skip the first videos in this course. They are very, very important. Now let's go back to our first introduction section. So if you come over here, there is a career assessment and download notes to get started. We have people coming from very different angles. Some people may have done certification, some people may be brand new, some people may have landed a job somehow and now they want to learn skills or some people are just getting into this career for the first time. Now, if let's say you are just getting started for the first time and you're a brand new person to technology or technical skills and you want to get into IT, then I highly recommend you simply download the PDF over here. What this is basically, this is a generic PDF that we have created based on all of these courses that you're taking in this platform and it tells you what is super important which is going to be in red and some are good for future learning. So let's say you are in the first course, IT Fundamental V1.0, which is this course, first course. It tells you exactly what modules are important. Red, important for new IT professionals, for everyone. Green, it can be skipped or covered later. Blue, it will help with advanced skills. So if you come down, you can see all the modules are kind of related to what you're taking right here. So when you're looking at this PDF, you can really say, okay, I'm not gonna skip the red because that's what the professionals are telling me. But again, it's up to you where your skills stand. You can make your own decisions, but this is our guidance. Now, let's say you are a person who really need individualized type of advice. You want something because you have different things going on in your career. In this scenario, you will click on this link, get help from a career counselor. Now, the career counselors are IT experts. They have multiple years of experience in IT. So I'm sure someone can help you out in a, that individualized type of help. So simply you click on this link. You're going to submit this quiz. This is not to test you. This is to find out your skill set. It is basically a very good um, interactive assessment where it's going to ask you a lot of questions. You're going to give a lot of answers. And based on your answers, we're going to send you a customized version of this PDF. So maybe your 100 hours can become, let's say, 60 hours or maybe 20 hours based on what you are going to provide us. So now let's talk about what is covered in this course. So let's go over some of the modules right here. Now, if you look at it, we already mentioned that don't skip anything in the beginning because you need that sort of knowledge. So let's just talk about this little image right here. I'm going to explain this. So if we have this whole company, they're going to hire a help desk IT support person for this company. Of course, there's so many different skills that you need to learn VPN, servers, basics, printers, projectors, 
laptops there's so many different things so of course from one course fundamental v1.0 which is the first course we cannot cover all of these skills we need to be focused and we want to start something that is a little easier to learn in the beginning and then you go into more advanced courses so how do we do that so let's go ahead and, and just kind of remove this so we have a clean image so now I'm going to show you, if you check the modules, I assume you went through this, you did not skip anything in the first sections, and you came to this CompTIA A plus practice lab now. Here are the modules. This is where we are going into something specific learning in the beginning, like this operating system that you see right here. This is what we're talking about right here, all this. A user using a computer with Windows 10 operating system. And we want to start with that. That's extreme basic stuff and, and kind of simple things to get started with and not getting into very technical things in the beginning. So that's how you need to learn this. So when you come down and you get to CompTIA A+, now this is basically a hands-on learning. We call it CompTIA A+, that's just the name of the lab, but everything is then hands-on so if you come over here operating system types and features this is where we say that don't skip any videos in the beginning because an instructor is explaining a little bit of lecture about operating system let's say you jump in directly into types and features introduction of course that's in a, a, a lecture so great but don't skip this one either where it says it lab talk because it may add more to this lecture so now when you go to a task, which is basically an actual task, so you still will see a video. Now you may think about it, okay, if it's still a video, how can I learn from this? There's two ways you can learn from this. Some people like to perform labs first, and then some people like to perform, watch the video, and then do the lab first. If you're a beginner, absolute beginner, then I say watch the video in JSS courses first, and then perform the lab. Now, this is where a big question will come to us and a lot of people will ask this if they have not read the terms and condition before they bought the membership. We have a very clear uh, uh, set of rules when it comes to memberships and how they're going to do labs. So Light and Plus didn't have any labs till March 2022. We have added the labs just to help people out in this scenario where people say we don't have labs, we don't have a powerful systems. So we have added that in March 2022. If you have an old plus membership, then you need to just get an upgrade for the lab. You have to just pay for the, the lab payment and then get the lab. If you didn't have light membership, you want to do a little bit of hands on practice, you can get the light membership. But remember, our courses are based off premium membership from day one. We are telling people if you want to learn things in a very step-by-step -step manner with JSS instructors, then premium is the way to go because we use premium labs to teach our courses. But we also give capabilities in one year access. We're charging $149 and we're giving out three servers and three clients, which is a very powerful access for just $149 for a whole year. You have access to a powerful systems. So how does it work in JSS? If you are taking uh, a lab course, for example, you come over here and you, you just started, you finished this first sections and now you're ready to perform uh, hands-on training. And you come to this task one and you watch this video uh, and let's assume you are a light or a plus member with sandbox, sandbox access. You are just going to go to your sandbox access, which is this one, 2019 sandbox, and you're going to basically turn on this lab sandbox so you're going to open that now you see when you turn it on for on the left side you can see the topology of this lab but other than that there is nothing in sandbox you can just remove this whole section like that and now concentrate on your devices now here are the important information we do not support any support for sandboxes if you're learning let's say in jss platform and you're just doing this lab and you're like why is this not the same like when i'm watching this this is a different lab when i come to my practice lab over here these are different that's because you're using a sandbox sandbox was not available for any membership before uh 2022 and we always use premium level membership for labs so we're still giving you the capability to go in there and try to replicate but we will not support uh, that learning and practice lab support will not support that learning because you're now using only a bare mental systems to perform something that we have done on a premium labs you can still try it i think you will be able to do 60 percent of the things that we're teaching in our courses for these labs with this access 
but if this is not possible let's say you get stuck in something and you're not able to do it then simply skip that because that is not how our courses were designed from the first place but if you're a premium member then here's a recommendation you don't want to be using sandbox labs you need to be using the same exact lab that instructor is using so how is that possible you need to go to the same CompTIA lab that instructor is using over here in this course so you're going to go over here you're going to open operating systems and features and you will need to click on start and now you see the guidance and everything is provided step by step in the lab courses as well so here you can finish it yourself by watching this documentation but if you get stuck and you want to follow the instructor then go back to the video and watch all of these videos and then do it side by side so in one tab you have labs open and the next tab you have videos open so this makes it very super easy for you to learn uh, skills in JSS just like that you're going to finish this you're going to submit your project and then submit it for certification we do not offer certification in light and plus membership as you can see there's a cross right here and you have to be a premium member to get our certification because it takes a lot of labor a lot of uh, hands-on uh, time is being invested by uh, instructors to check your lab progress and everything and then we certify people if you want to get that certification done you need to be a premium member other than that, this is a very powerful access that we have in Light and Plus now. You can get to these sandbox labs and try to replicate as much as you can. But again, the important piece right here that I'm trying to tell everyone that there is no support uh, in learning available because we have not used any of those labs for our trainings over here and some things may not just work in that case. So this is how you need to finish this whole course. When you finish all the way down, it's gonna actually tell you what course to take next if you want to proceed to the next course. If you feel like you wanna start a learning path and you wanna follow a learning path, then simply go to your um, uh, JobScript Share portal, click on learning path, click on all paths, and here you are going to see a path like this where I'm gonna click on all path, modern IT support, and enroll in this path. And then of course you can basically go to your map path and here you will see you will see that multiple courses are added to your learning path you will still need to take the courses from my courses and do it the, the normal way that we have been teaching people by coming over here let's say you go to the my course right here and then you click on it then there's a course available you're gonna go do everything from here if you get stuck in something let's say you're not sure uh, after this video you don't know exactly how to start let us know we will send you step-by-step -step instructions as well